It is your destiny. Fuck my destiny. What's the name of the game that we are playing? But whenever I think that we are winning, then you roll the dice. Take a slide right back to the one from 99. Is it gonna go on like this forever? Are we gonna take that last step together? Going round and round and up and down. Feels just like snakes and ladders. Baby, don't it fail. Hello, I'm Jashikins, and welcome to my annual video about the Oscars. This video being about the Oscars in 2013. Now, the Oscars this year had a host that was not liked. The host being Seth MacFarlane. And while I am a Seth MacFarlane fan, I love Family Guy, American Dad, I loved his movie Ted, I have it on Blu-ray. Well, I bought it for Rev Reznor on Blu-ray for Christmas, but it's sort of ours. So, I like Seth MacFarlane, however, I agree. That's a fucking odd choice for someone to host a show like the Oscars. It's the fucking Oscars, like, but while I enjoyed him, others didn't. And they bring all of their hate to Seth MacFarlane, and let me tell you something. Someone had to hire him. Someone had to say, okay, Seth MacFarlane, I want him for Oscars, let's hire him. And I'd be like, okay. So someone had to hire him. Then his jokes, they had to be approved. So yeah, someone looked at the jokes and like, okay, they're not that bad. And it's funny, while Seth MacFarlane's hosting was heavily disliked, people really tuned into the Oscars. They, the ratings were very high this year. Now me, I watch the Oscars not because I like them, not because I think, not that I really pay attention to them, because the Academy doesn't really have a good grasp on the modern day audience. However, I only watch it because for one, I'm a critic, for two, it's just something I've been doing ever since I started blogging, so I'm doing it because of tradition. However. The good majority of people don't have that excuse. They still fucking watched. Listen, um, if you want to know the highlights of the Oscars, everyone and their mother will be posting the day after or during or whatever, so you don't have to tune in yourself. And if you're wondering about the winners, go to the Oscars website the day after. Ta-da! But I'm going to talk about two of the jokes that weren't really well received. One, I can see why. Two, I think. The other one, I think it was a full reaction. The first one is uh, Seth MacFarlane made fun of George Clooney dating younger women. Now, George Clooney dating younger women you know, not really looked at, and in fact, when people look at the joke, they fully pass over that, and they focus on that the nine-year-old nominee for Best Actress was sexualized. And while you can argue that it's a tasteless joke, the fact is hardly anyone mentions the George Clooney part. I mean, I see people complaining articles and no one mentions George Clooney, and I'm just like, okay. Okay. Okay, I mean, I even had to sort of correct someone, a friend, because they posted on their blog that, you know, Seth MacFarlane right out the gate insulted the girl and sexualized her. Uh, well, that I, cha I had him change the chronology of that because Seth MacFarlane's first words to her were basically, hey, you got an Os Oscar, good job, and hey, everyone else of you who was nominated, even a nine-year-old could do it. 
The second joke that seems, seems to really have gotten attention is the song, We Saw Your Boobs. And I like it for two reasons. I find it hilarious for two reasons. One, boobs! It's a funny ass word. Boobs is just hilarious. I, I can discuss Shakespeare. I can discuss the structure of sonnets. I laugh my ass off at the word boobs being said over and over and over again. And two, this whole thing of the song seemed to me at least, and to some other people, seemed to be that it's just Seth MacFarlane and turn men laugh being so obsessed about boobs. And let me just say, I respect women, being a woman I no respect other women for any choices they make. And my fiance Rev Reznor, who also liked the song, you know, won't really discuss abortion because it's a woman's issue and he doesn't have a vagina. And on Tumblr, like a little after the Oscars, I found a parody video of We Saw Your Boobs called We Saw Your Junk. And I posted that on Tumblr, and to anyone who found that found me posting that video, I you can see I like the We Saw Your Boobs, but I like the We Saw Your Junk because guess what? It's the same fucking thing. It's it's a good parody. I am I like parodies and ripoffs. So I found a good parody and like this is great, this is well done, this is hilarious, this is the original, I'm posting it. And next up, Liam Neeson. He, you know, announced some of the Best Picture nominations. And for those of you who don't know, I'm a Liam Neeson fangirl, so I saw him, I was like, uh, Seth MacFarlane was announcing him, saying, and the guy from Taken, blah blah blah, I was like, he, he can't, can't be talking about Liam Neeson. He, I'm not going to get you know, Seth MacFarlane as host and Liam Neeson appearing at least for a minute or two. And it happened. And that was one of the best parts for me, you know. I think the second best part of the Oscars for me personally, I love that we saw your boobs. And I think I would rank the James T. Kirk appearance higher, but not really a Star Trek fan. And finally, before I talk about the winners, and this video might actually be broken into two parts, which will really be a first. I'll, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, the last thing I want to discuss before we get to the winners is, of course, Christians, Kristen Stewart. Now, listen, I don't like her acting abilities at all. I've seen parts of the Twilight movies, I've read all four of the books, so I'm like, I don't fucking need to see the movie versions because not that, of that, not that good of a book series, and once you make the transition from book to film, a lot of shit gets lost along the way, so I don't want, I don't want to see it. But however, I did see the whole movie of Snow White and the Huntsman. And so, from the, what I've seen, I don't like her acting performance. However, however, I don't like the fucking hate she's gotten for her Oscars appearance this year. Because guess what? People in the public eye, of course, can be judged and everything. But come on, make your hate, you know, actually have some facts behind it because the Christian Stewart thing this year they were complaining about oh she looked drugged out and she was she was limping on Daniel Radcliffe it's like oh, it's, oh she's so horrible she was just limping and blah 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 listen what the none of the haters mention and mind you this coming from a non-Christian Stewart fan is that she had injured her foot and she was on pain medications and for some whatever fucked up reason she wasn't allowed to bring her fucking crutches on stage so that's why she was limping 
and drugged out because pain medication. And so she's having to present with no, no crutches and she's under pain medication. So say what you want about her. I, I'll put hate out there for her acting abilities. But really, anyways, let's get started on actually talking about the winners this year.